Well, Waterford have been very quick out of the blocks in this game. And here's Shane Duggan, who's back at the heart of things for the Blues. Kevin Lynch now. Not a bad cross. And onto it comes El Bizzetti, and that's a fine stop by Barry Murphy. The St. Pat's goal leading a charmed existence in the first few minutes of this game. Holland takes the corner. O'Connor with the shot. It's half blocked. Down goes the Waterford player. The referee's whistle goes. Edgar Malsevs from Latvia points to the spot. Though in truth, it's a pretty harsh penalty. And it's Michael O'Connor who will have the chance. Sends Barry Murphy the wrong way. And after just six minutes, Waterford are deservedly in front. Oh, lovely play again by Waterford. Figuera helping it on to JJ Lunny. And the runner off the ball is Lynch. And it's cleared off the line by Desmond. That would have been going in. Kelly gets it away. Excellent play. And Stephen O'Donnell realising that his team will have to work quickly at there to get back into this. Birmingham to Markey. Good cross. A little bit too high, though, for the inrushing Drennan. Desmond sends it out wide. Clark's cross over Forrester. Drennan heads it over. Some encouragement for the Saints approaching half-time. JJ Luddy with a fine effort. Another good save from Murphy. JJ Luddy, who has been one of Waterford's best players tonight. Linking the play between defence and attack. El Bazzetti, as we look again at that fine strike with the left boot. Stephen O'Donnell making two changes at half-time. Jake Walker and Glenn McCauley on for Drennan and Coleman. Pat's looking a little bit more lively now. Clark with some space. Good delivery. Comes to head. Oh, that wasn't far away. Connor was scrambling in the Waterford goal. Well, it's taken Saints a long time to join the party tonight, but they're having their best spell. Clifford sends it out wide. And Hale again. Fine stop, and McCauley knocks it over with the goal at his mercy. Well, that is a crucial turning point in this game. O'Connor does well. El Bazzetti scampering clear. Hale can't keep up with him. Sets up O'Connor. Oh, he couldn't quite get it right off his left boot. That would have clinched it for sure. Huge job ahead for Stephen O'Donnell. And now the free kick for Waterford. Played out wide by Duggan. Bones cross. And O'Connor makes it 2-0. Gets to the cross ahead of Lee Desmond. A fine header. Murphy could do nothing. O'Connor has two. Waterford have two. And they're on the way to three points. Will there be any consolation for St. Pat's? They need a goal badly here. Here's Markey. And now McCauley. And Connor forced to make the save. Good effort by the 19-year-old. Final whistle goes, three games now without a goal for St. Pat's. Stephen O'Donnell surely knows the size of the task that faces him now. That's a big blow to his team's European ambitions. Final score, St. Pat's nil, Waterford two. If we could get the equaliser, we would have went on and had a right chance to kick on and win the game, but fortunately, um, Waterford scored the second and yeah, you know, disappointing result, there's no getting away from it, but I can't fault the players' efforts and that we just quality wise and that we just need to be a little bit better. Started really well, could have been a couple up. They changed their shape a little bit, then they got a strangle hold of it. We were one up at that stage and I suppose the second half we'd uh, keep a good defensive shape and try and catch them on the counter, which we did. And uh, I think we were deserving winners tonight.